Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Pastor Derek Nider. We've got great news. We've streamlined our content and created a new Daily Devotional channel for our YouTube subscribers. Follow the link in the bio to find that channel and subscribe today. All right, talking about talking about Cain today. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and open up to Genesis chapter 4. Today we're in verse 6 and 7. And uh, I'm going to pray for us and we'll... We'll check out Cain's life. Father, thank you for the story today. It's not an easy story. It's a sad story, but it's an instructive story. And so help us to be humble to learn today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, the scripture says in verse 6 of Genesis chapter 4, the Lord said to Cain, let me just, let me back up to the last sentence in verse 5. So Cain was very angry and his face fell. The Lord said to Cain, why are you angry and why has your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? And if you do not do well, check this out. Sin is crouching at your door. New King James Version, I think, says is lurking. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. And so, you know, not an easy situation for for the two brothers. Um... And we're going to see this played out in really catastrophic ways, right? They bring their offering. One's offered in faith. One is not offered in faith. And Cain is disappointed, right? He is doing it his way, whatever that means, right? It's not God's way. It's not in faith. And so it's his own way. And God says no. God doesn't just say no arbitrarily. I mean, there was obviously something that Cain knew that he was resisting to do. And man, Cain, that attitude is just so prevalent, right? That attitude is so prevalent among us. We, we do just by nature want to, we want to do it our way. You know, we want to have our way. We uh, are determined to chart our own course. And, and then when we find out that God's doesn't, that God does not accept it, you know, our face falls too. And, you know, God, man, he goes after Cain in this spot. I just, you, again, you see the loving heart of God to pursue people even when they're in rebellion. And God says to him, why are you, why are you so mad? You know, why is your face fallen? You know, when someone is confronted with disappointment and they're not happy, they can go from a face that's uplifted and smiling to just sunken, sullen, disappointed, frowning, upset, shadowy, looking down. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, that's what happened to Cain. And, and you know, ultimately what he's going to do is he's going he's gonna to take it out on his brother. He's going to take his own disobedience, lack of faith, disappointment out on his brother. Like, this is part of the blame shifting, but what we're going to see is it is to the nth degree. And so God confronts him lovingly and gives him opportunity, right? Even in Cain's self-absorption and personal determination to do it his own way, God says, hey, there's another chance here, right? It doesn't have to go the way that it looks like it's going. If you do well, if you do it my way, will you not be accepted? And then comes the warning because he says, You need to be careful. Sin is crouching um, or sin is lurking. You know, I think about the word crouching and in my mind, probably in yours too, you know, I've got this picture of a a lion, you know, just about ready to pounce. You know, lions or, you know, big cats like that, that are predators. They're so, man, they're sly, they're sneaky. They can approach their prey without being noticed at all. They get coiled back. And then when they're ready to spring, the full force of um, their body just is, it lurches towards their prey. And you know, the prey has no chance, right? And God gives this picture of sin. Like that sin, it is ready. It is, it's, it is, Uh, not only lurking, it's not only pursuing, you know, it's not only targeting, um, but it is also crouching. It is, it is pulled all the way back and it is ready to pounce. That is the reality of sin. And you know, the truth is that most of us don't, we don't see sin like that, right? We, we play with sin with kids' gloves. You know, we have an approach to sin 
that we see through rose-colored lenses. Um, we think that we can play with fire and not get burned. We ignore the admonition of scripture. How can man take fire into his bosom and not be burned? Hey, the very nature of it all. That's the reality of sin. That's exactly what God said to Cain. And, you know, worst of worst, right? You look at the story and you think, oh man, God comes and talks to me. Of course I'm gonna obey. What a bonehead, you know? What is this guy thinking? Like he ignores God, but you know what? We do the same thing. God has told us, and it's not just been a word that has come from God. It is the word of God that has come from God. I'm talking about the Logos. I'm talking about the Son of God. Like we know how catastrophic sin is and how it lurks and crouches because Christ died on the cross for our sins. Nothing could be more sobering than the reality of him having to die for a single sin, let alone the whole sin of humanity. Let's learn a lesson here and let's take to heart what God spoke to Cain and let's remember today that as we walk in faith and as we walk in righteousness, right? There's there's lions all around that are that are seeking to undermine us. Peter said it. He said, "Man, you know, don't forget that the that the adversary is like a a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Let's navigate the course by righteousness or holiness and faith. And you know what God does? He preserves us. Have a good day. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.